Hi, this is Paul Gadbois, and the following clip is from My Train Signal Security Plus training. Now, the next kind of attack that we're going to talk about is known as the Man in the Middle attack, or MITM. Sometimes it's referred to as the Bucket Brigade attack. With a Man in the Middle attack, the attacker makes independent connections with the two victims and then relays messages between them, making them believe that they're really talking with each other over a private connection, when in fact the entire conversation is really being controlled by the hacker. Now again, for this to be successful, that attacker has to be able to intercept all the messages that are going between the two victims so that he can then inject new ones to keep up the charade. Now, here's how this is going to take place. On this network, I have Nancy, who wants to securely talk with Bob. So Igor in the middle is going to be the bad guy and he's going to intercept their messages. Now the first thing that Nancy and Bob's computers are going to do in order to set up this connection is they're going to exchange public keys with each other so they know how to encrypt their messages so that the other one can read it. Now unfortunately Igor has spoofed both of those machines. So he's just intercepted both of their public keys. He now has their public keys on his computer. Now to keep up the charade, he sends back his public key to those two and each one thinks that Igor's public key is really the other person's public key. So Bob thinks that he's going to be using Nancy's public key. Nancy thinks she's going to be using Bob's public key. But in all reality, when they go to encrypt their data, they're going to be using Igor's public key in order to send the messages back and forth. Now what's going to happen is that Nancy's going to send a message to Bob. And she encrypted it, unfortunately, with the hacker's public key. So Igor's public key was used. And the message says, hi, Bob, I really like you. Now, Igor is going to decrypt that message with his private key. He's going to read it. He's going to modify it. And then he's going to send that message over to Bob. And he's going to encrypt it with his private key. And then Bob could use that public key to decrypt it, thinking it's Nancy's public key. Once that message gets to Bob and he decrypts it, he'll see that the message says, Hi, Bob, I don't like you. And now Nancy and Bob are not going to get along because of what Igor just did. Now, you can see how this can be used against people, but in order for it to happen, Igor needs to be inserted at the moment that they're exchanging their public keys with one another so that he can get them and then use them against them. That is basically the classic man-in-the-middle attack. Thanks for watching. You can get this same material plus much more from my Security Plus course at trainsignal.com.